Hi everybody, welcome back to Educating Adventures. My name is Sarah and today we're gonna mix it up a little bit. I know we usually talk about animals and their habitats, but today we are gonna be talking about plants. More specifically, all the different parts of a plant. We're talking about plant anatomy, so let's get to it. All right, before we talk about the different parts of a plant, we should probably figure out what a plant is. Plants are a group of organisms that usually grow on land and they have this really awesome ability to take energy from the sun and to turn it into energy for themselves in a process that we call photosynthesis. And we're gonna talk more about that in just a little bit. But just like there's lots of different types of animals, there's also lots of different types of plants. Some of them can be quite small, like a blade of grass or a dandelion, but some of them can be really big, like a 200 foot tall redwood tree. And no matter if you're tiny like grass or tall like a tree, all of these organisms are considered plants. Just like animals have different organs that help our bodies to function, like our hearts and our lungs, plants also have organs, but of course theirs are a little bit different. One major type of organ is their root system, and the other organ is called their shoot system. We're gonna start with the roots. When we picture a plant, we usually picture them growing out of the ground, right? And the part that we can't see are the roots. That's what holds the plant into the earth. So when it's a really windy day, plants don't get blown over because their roots are holding them in place. And roots have another really important job. They absorb things from the soil. They absorb water and nutrients, all of which plants need to grow. Once the root system has absorbed all of that water and nutrients, they send it to the rest of the plant. So we said we had our root system and our shoot system. The shoot system is basically every part of the plant that we can see above the ground. So this is gonna include the stem, the leaves, the flowers, the fruits and the seeds, all of which we're about to talk about. So let's start with the stem. The stem is kind of like the center foundation of the plant and their main job is to send water and nutrients from the roots up the plant to the leaves and the branches. Stems can also be really important in storing water and nutrients as well. And sometimes stems can be small and green and fleshy but other times they can be really big and woody. A tree's trunk is actually its stem. The stem is really important because it actually supports the leaves. And sometimes those leaves grow on branches, but all of this comes from the stem. And leaves have possibly the most important job of a plant. It's their job to photosynthesize. Photosynthesis is a process that plants use to take sunlight and water and carbon dioxide from the air. And they do this really amazing process where they turn it into energy and oxygen. And they release the oxygen into the air and that's part of the reason we get to breathe. But the other part of that is the energy, the food that it creates for the plant. This is what allows plants to grow big and strong and to stay alive. And leaves can often be designed for their particular environment. In a cold place, leaves might be dark because that helps them absorb sunlight. Whereas in a really hot place where there might be too much sunlight, the leaves might be light. And that actually helps light reflect off of the leaves so that they don't get too much sunlight. During a particular season or when conditions are just right, plants might also produce flowers. And flowers are actually the reproductive part of the plant. So, Flowers contain pollen, and pollen has to be transferred from flower to flower in a process called pollination, and that's how plants are able to reproduce. If you wanna learn more about pollination, be sure to check out our pollination adventure. For a plant to grow flowers, this takes a lot of energy and a lot of nutrients, all of which the plant gets from photosynthesizing in its leaves and absorbing nutrients from the soil with their roots. Once the plant has been pollinated, something really important happens. The plant can produce a fruit. 
And fruits are anything from an apple to a seed pod. And if you take a big bite into an apple, you might find something in the middle. You might find seeds. And that's because the fruit's job is to produce seeds. And if a species of plant wants to stay alive, they have to create seeds to spread around the environment so that they can grow into new plants. So we just talked about some very important plant parts. We started with roots that absorb nutrients and water, and then all of that nutrients and water goes to the stem, and it can travel through the stem to get to the leaves where photosynthesis happens, and all that energy and nutrients can then be used to grow flowers, which when they're pollinated, turn into fruits, which grow seeds, and there we go. We have all the different parts of a plant. Now, not all plants are like this, right? We said at the beginning, there's a ton of different types of plants. If we think of something like a cactus, that looks a little bit different, right? They don't have leaves like other plants do, and their stems definitely look a little bit different. For a cactus, that whole big part that you see is the stem, and all the spines are actually modified leaves. If we think about something like a pitcher plant, whose leaves look like little buckets and actually digest insects, that plant is a carnivore, they're getting most of the nutrients they need from eating bugs, rather from the soil. And in fact, some plants don't even grow from the soil. Bromeliads and other air plants can grow on tree branches or telephone wires, and they get all the nutrients they need from the air. So there is a ton of diversity among plants, but for the most part, we can consider the plant parts we talked about today to be kind of the standard. All right, you guys, now we have learned the basic parts of a plant. If you wanna learn more about the parts of the plant and test your knowledge and have readings and quizzes and activities, be sure to check out our Educating Adventures website and we'll see you guys next time.